Hi, my name is Dave Butler. I'm with Align Therapy. I wanted to show a test that we do pretty consistently in physical therapy to look at sciatica. So sciatica is nerve pain that's going down the leg. Sciatica is not just back pain and it's not just pain kind of that goes down into the glutes. True sciatica is pain from the sciatic nerve that goes down uh, further into the leg. So one of the common tests for this is called the straight leg raise test. But I want to also go over the slump test. Slump test is one that, that people will do along with the straight leg raise test to look for sciatic pain. So this is Bea. She is, has agreed to help me demonstrate this, and she's a great, great model for this. And she's one of our awesome patients here at Lyme Therapy. I'm grateful that she's here. So for the slump test, the way that we do this is we have the person sit up tall and then we take their leg and we're going to straighten the leg up like this and pull the foot back a little bit and then i'm going to have her kind of slouch slump down like that so what do you feel there i feel good feel There's good no pain little, little stretch little maybe stretch but... right here yeah so if someone has sciatica you can go and put this down if someone has sciatica this will usually reproduce back pain and it might reproduce leg pain that they've been complaining of. So it's not just a hamstring stretch. If they're feeling a hamstring stretch, that's not a positive test for the slump test. So a lot of times when I'm evaluating someone, they'll be sitting and I'll test their quad strength. So I'll have them bring their leg up and I'll push down. And then while I'm in that position, I'll, I'll do kind of a slump test and have them slump forward. And if we're seeing a positive test with that, then I'll use the straight leg raise test to confirm what I was thinking is going on. So, Bea, go ahead and lay on your back. So, with the straight leg raise test, it's just like it sounds. We just raise the leg straight. So, we first, this, this is the way that I will do it. This may not be textbook, but this is how I do it. We raise the leg and we go up until they tell me to stop. That's good right there. So where do you feel that? I just feel a good stretch in my hamstrings. That's good, all. good stretch in the hamstrings. So then I'll go to the other side. Tell me when. Now. Same thing? Yep. Okay, so still in the hamstrings. Now I'll do it with a little bit of a variation. So I'll, I'll raise the leg a little bit. We'll bring the toes back and we'll go up again. And tell me when to stop. Now. Usually we'll see that stop sooner, and where are you feeling that? Hamstrings. Down any further into, close to the yeah. calf? It is pretty flexible, so if you did this on me, this would light me up, because <laughs> my hamstrings are not <laughs> flexible. And so what I'm looking for with this is a difference side to side, as well as a reproduction of pain. So back pain, leg pain that they've been complaining of, this isn't just that it feels tight. That's not a positive test. If it feels painful in the hamstrings, but that's not their normal pain, then you may have to investigate that further. So this is a good way to pick up on whether something's sciatica from the sciatic nerve, or if it's just tight hamstrings or general back pain or something like that. So hopefully this helps if you're someone who's been treated and been seen in physical therapy and this test has been done, you kind of know what, what it is. If you're a therapist that just needs a refresher on that, hopefully it helps. And if you're trying to figure out your own sciatica, hopefully this helps to differentiate that. So we'll be doing some other videos on exercises specific for back pain. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks, Bea, for helping us out. You're welcome. And we'll see you next time.